Welcome to Brain Academy. In this video, we are going to be looking at Newton's law of gravitation. To understand this law, let us look at two magnets. These two magnets attract each other with magnetic force. Similarly, what Newton says is all the objects in the universe, even humans, attract each other with a special kind of force, which is gravitational force. Now, we don't see this in our everyday life, like two humans attracting each other. It's because, let's say, we have a huge magnet, and then there are two tiny magnets just above. Then these two tiny magnets on the surface of the big magnet are going to be attracted by this big magnet. As a result, these two tiny magnets cannot attract each other. Similarly, in case our, of our Earth, the Earth is acting as a huge magnet, and these two tiny humans are attracted towards the center of the Earth. As a result, they cannot attract each other. So that's what gravitation is all about. Now, let's move to Newton's law of gravitation. So Newton's law of gravitation tells us about the relationship of gravitational force with the mass of the bodies and the distance between the centers. Now, first of all, let us look at the relationship with mass. So let's say we have two huge blocks and they have huge masses. That is, their masses are extremely high. And what Newton says is that the gravitational force between them is also going to be high. Whereas, let's say we have two tiny blocks, and the masses of these two tiny blocks are extremely less. Then, in this case, the gravitational force between them is also going to be less. And this short of relationship is known as directly proportional relationship. Where when mass increases, force also increases, and when mass decreases, force also decreases. And that's the relationship of force with mass. Now let's look at distance. So we have two tiny objects which are very close to each other, so their distance is extremely low. In this case, the gravitational force between them is going to be high. And when we put these same two objects far away from each other, which means their distance is extremely high now, then in this case, the gravitational force between them is going to be less because they are very far from each other. And this is inversely proportional relationship, where when distance decreases, force is increasing, and when distance increases, the force is decreasing. And that's all Newton's law of gravitation is about. Now we are going to try to write the same thing in sentences. So Newton's law of gravitation. First of all, we are going to start from the definition of gravitational force, which is all the bodies in the universe attract each other, like two humans, with a special force, which is called gravitational force. And this gravitational force is directly proportional to the product of the masses, like it is directly proportional to both the masses, and it is inversely proportional to the square of distance between them. So mathematically, it's the square of distance, not just distance. And that's it. That's Newton's law of gravitation. We can also look at it mathematically. So, if you have to write it mathematically, we can assume there are two bodies, A and B, having masses M1 and M2, and let's say their distance is D. Now, if the gravitational force between them is F, we can write that force is directly proportional to the product of masses mathematically like this, 
and force is inversely proportional to the square of distance between the centers. And that's it. Thank you for watching the land.